Canadian six are on edge, fearful they could be targeted by India's government, despite three arrests and the murder of six separatist Hardeep Singh Nijar. I don't think these arrests are going to change a heck of a lot uh, until the operating lines uh, are exposed. The World Sikh Organization wants better protection for separatists like Nijar, who want a Sikh homeland called Khalistan. He was told repeatedly that his life is in danger, but he wasn't given any resources to defend himself or to prevent, prevent a, an attack on his life. The assassination of Hadeep Singh Nijar was an abject failure of Canadian intelligence, as far as I'm concerned. This week's report on foreign interference released by Justice Marie-José Ugg suggests Canada is concerned about India's clandestine footprint. Foreign interference, which is generally but not exclusively the work of authoritarian regimes. Writing in her report, Indian officials rely on networks of proxies to liaise and work with Indian intelligence officials in India and Canada. They target people aligned with Khalistani separatism, which India views as a seditious threat. Those responsible for the killing of this Canadian citizen on Canadian soil will be uh, held to account and face uh, the justice system. Canada's public safety minister is promising justice for the Nijar family, but he's tight-lipped about what Ottawa will do to keep other people safe. I think we need to have confidence that the RCMP will do the work. That's left some six feeling vulnerable. This uh, is very clearly a part of a much larger conspiracy. Sources who spoke to CBC News believe the three men arrested have ties to a powerful Indian gang. And while those ties are being investigated, community leaders fear an assassin could strike again. It's India that is actively using organized uh, crime syndicates to target Sikh activists. JP Ottawa isn't saying much about India's alleged role in Niger's killing, but Parliament is expected to take up the issue tomorrow. Yeah, MPs are set to debate a Liberal motion on Niger's killing tomorrow. It's a chance to throw around some ideas on how to harden Canada's defences against nefarious foreign actors. There's also something concrete coming. The government is expected to table legislation creating a foreign agent registry with new criminal sanctions for people who don't report their dealings with a foreign government. It'll give police some new tools to try and crack down on meddling by India and others. Ian? Thanks, JP.